Almost 250 stones are on their way for this year's Saiyan Day campaign. How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Saiyan Day Reclaim the Summit campaign and figuring out how many stones we can expect to pick up from this short and quick celebration as we continue to save our stones for the ninth anniversary. Anniversary. So, first and foremost, let's kick things off with a stone check. If you've been following along with our guides for the year, you know that by the end of June, entering into the Sand Day campaign, or ninth anniversary campaign, rather, you can expect a 50. 1500 dragon stones so i'm curious where are you at in that collection leading up to the ninth anniversary how many stones are you currently sitting on in your big savings bank let us know in the comments down below so let's go ahead and let's take a look at those campaign stones so first and foremost we will have a daily login bonus so we will be getting uh three stones plus one stones plus eight stones to kick us off in the beginning of the celebration so that is technically 12 stones right there just for logging in right so if you logged in earlier before your summons you've already seen this bonus throughout the rest of the campaign if you log in daily you can expect to about 13 13 more stones right there are 13 more days left in the month so roughly we'll assume that the next uh dokkan fest drops at the 31st and we'll just say to the 31st so uh let's go plus 13 we are looking at 25 dragon stones just for logging in during this period now we have the special reclaim the summit missions and this includes daily missions which includes the weekend missions uh, as well as the missions you can do for just collecting up normal stuff throughout the campaign and they're telling us 33 stones can be gotten from that so already we have about 58 stones right there so really really good deal that's a full multi right there moving on we have the inevitable showdown extra missions these are the missions for completing the androids 19 and Jero special missions there are only three dragon stones to be gotten this if you have uh completed this already so not a whole lot there but hey that's three more dragon stones than you had before the myth the missions are challenging and can be fun and they provide some much needed variety uh to global and jp when they come around so very nice there we have we have next obviously the Dokkan event which is going to grant us two stones right there so we're up to 63 stones with that right there up next we have a new super battle road which will give us another six stones totaling in 69 and then I have been corrected on the number of stones from extreme super battle road it's actually a little more than six right I think you get seven plus completing so you actually get eight for completing the stage so 77 stones right there we'll have new missions for the fighting legend vegeta there's only two new missions here um if we can see them down here they are to clear with super saiyans and vegeta's family so yeah with that that'll be 10 more dragon stones right there totaling in 87 moving on we have a new burst mode coming for the uh agl cell event that should give us about 20 stones right there so 107 is what we're looking at at uh by the time we get the burst mode on the 20th we will have the new super easy a which will net us only to three dragon stones actually two for the missions one for completion um, so that brings us up to uh, 110 stones right there. So very, very nice. From there, we'll have a new World Tournament on the 24th. First, world tournaments usually net us about 50 stones. That's a, so that's 160 stones right there. Moving on, we have 
um, let's see, what is the next one? All of these, if you haven't cleared any of these, obviously, good chance to do these now. Um, because that's free stones right there. But next we have the Dokkan Festival Easy A for the Super Vegeta. And that'll net us 33 stones. We get another 34 for the Dragon Ball History that'll be available on the 21st. And then... Pets on battle if you manage to get lucky and collect all of the cards this round. That's another 11 stones right there, totaling in 238. Um, so just around 238, 240 stones is what you can expect from this campaign. It's just under 200. 250 that's a really good deal, honestly. All things considered, here that is, um pretty much a full celebrations worth of stones. Most monthly stone celebrations give you around 250 to 230 uh, per month. This campaign alone gave us 230 just in the short amount of days that it will last. That's a really good deal. That means most of us are going to be up in our stone count just from this month. Gohan and Piccolo celebration prior to this also netted us quite a few stones. So this was actually a very lucrative month for you savers. So guys, that is it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know again what stones are you sitting on what is your total count as you are banking for the ninth anniversary if you chose to hop into the banner for the dokkan festival tech vegeta let me know how many stones are you left with afterwards curious to see how y'all did let me know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha